then perhaps. Hey, what? Oh, God! your people, Rolo. Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Child with that howl. Unhand me, beast! Feel my neck. That's good steel. Ah. <laughs> 
safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Yeah. Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? <laughs> to steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Eivor. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder. It is done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Birsten's will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead. Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. Thor's punch! I should find Birstan. No doubt he's hunting again. Sword to sword with your father, Rollo. Yes! <laughs> Set her a weaver soon. I should be cautious around here.
about this lab, my friend. No! No troubles bestir your heart, do they, Percy? All you... Beeston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebold. How wondrously strange! Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. You porcine devil! Look at that fat hog! It'll make a delicious roast. Come on, the feast table won't fill itself. Good hunt, Beston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring yarls and piss-sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ.
Best brace my hood here. Home and hearth never used to. Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetly. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Outreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that Lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stole him, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> My lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Hush, Angel. Do not fret. <laughs>
Alfred's men have found you! What? How can this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us and Beast. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! Lork! Hold it now! the woman, Danes! If she's on hard, we may let some of you out! Here come the bastards! Protect Esther! Estrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frank here awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and shall not weather. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Beaston got his end of the bargain, and Estrid is to Frank here. I should return to Randwy.
son be? One of us? Eivor, Altergate? In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance, but... Let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. Go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croindene by now. Basket of Wessex, land of plenty. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Guttrum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. 
We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendine. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. With mighty Eivor at our head, we oh, cannot fail. You can always fail. You cannot the first step. There's a cheery thought. I need your eyes, my friend. They said there would be a scout in this hill. Smell blood on the air. Death is close. Someone find the scout before me. What do 
you see. A scout patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. Next time on this floor, the magna your wings soon. Finish! 
Show me what lies ahead. Scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. Leaders should not second-guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croindon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breath for the fight.
Master's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow ass! Leave him! The day is already won! If Sigurd dies today, find your corpse and piss on it. You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. I will not. Go and tell Fulke what you saw today. Tell her Ava is coming to tear her heart from her chest. I will tell Fulke her opponent is a weakling who does not have the stomach to finish what they started. You will he is dead, this Eivor. mercy. No breath within. You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brothers to the camp. He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. Now he has beat me to Valhalla. Even in death, he had to be first. This crow feast is my doing. No blame stains you, Eivor. He cut his own path. Nor wasted. For him, there's... Come back! I was saying something. For him, there's no more strife and pain. Only glorious battle and the forever feast. Stripling, I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine. Knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. 
I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I'm not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. I will take care of the camp myself. Once I have cleared it out, we'll move our warriors in. I'll risk no more losses. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth. Gildefort and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uba, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uber, I apologize. I would have liked to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not.